What up guys, Joachim here, and you are looking at, this is a picture of a book that I have called The Typicon Decoded, and it kind of covers uh, a lot of the services, prayers, and things like that that go on in the Orthodox Church, which can be kind of complicated, uh, to say the least. And uh, this part is, this is very early, this is one of the very first sections of the book, I don't know what page it is, it's, I don't, I don't know, like within the first like 10 pages, probably. Um, or at least the first few pages after the foreword of the book. But I have been using this to kind of pray through the Psalter. I wasn't sure how long it would take each day, but I, it's something I've kind of wanted to do for a long time to, um, you know, use the Psalter more regularly. So my family does one stasis per day, and that's all the Psalms that we read as part of our morning and evening prayers. And we'd, we'd usually just do it in the evening because we don't have a lot of time in the morning. So this one, but I, I wanted to do it all myself, um, at least for um, a few days while I was off work. And um, so, you know, that's kind of what I've been doing. And I, I wanted to, uh, you know, show you guys this and uh, to have you read along with me if, if, if you're interested. Um, I'm going to chant through them using the style of chant that I've heard on like Mount Athos. Um, not, not when they're all together, but when they're singing individually. Um, or, or one person's doing it, and um, I, I just really like it. I don't always chant these psalms when, when I do them. I just usually read them, but, um, you know, listening to them do it that way, it was very beautiful, and I, I wanted to kind of just do the same thing. Um, so today's going to be a little bit different in that I am chanting it, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm really just inviting you guys to go along with me. So the, the format, this changes um, every so often. So these are all of the cathismas, which you see on the left, and each cathisma is made up of three stasis, stasis one, two, and three. And this is the arrangement of the Psalter, as you see in the heading there. And so um, what happens is that between, uh, over the course of the week, uh, you know, on a normal basis, all of these will be read. There are certain time periods in, in the year where all of these will, like the, the entire, um, the entire psalm book will be read in the morning. And then at Vespers and the Vesperal uh, services, there will be specific sections that are read every night that correspond to that time period. So during that period, there's a lot more reading in the morning and um, a shorter reading in the evening. And that is usually the general model, is that um, two of these cathismas will be read in the morning and one will be read in the evening. So um, the normal basis would be that cathisma one is read at Vespers on Saturday night if you go to church. So you, you'll hear, actually hear the beginning of that at, at almost every service. They'll sing, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. And usually people respond with, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, and maybe that's not the um, maybe that's not the the melody that you use at your church. I I don't know, I don't know what all the the different melodies are, but um, that's the one we usually use, and that will begin the first stasis, and usually they don't do any more after that. So, but in the monasteries, that would be the the very first one. So, if you're trying to do them on your own, I think it's a very good practice. And it's something that I've always admired, and um, this is the first time I've tried to do it on my own, so I don't know if I'll keep doing it once I <laughs> go back to a normal work schedule. Um, eventually, I would like to get to that point, but it, it, you know, it takes some effort and some work, and I'm both working and going to school, so that poses some time constraints. And like right now, I should be writing a lab report instead of I'm doing this, but um, you know, this is important too, and um, you know, I, it's something I've started and I, I want to finish. So. I have pulled open, this is um, Brenton's Septuagint of the Psalms, and it's just what was available on Bible Hub. I don't always use Brenton's Septuagint, and it is good if you're going to do this to use a consistent translation so that you get accustomed to the language. But uh, this stasis for today, I'm going to go back to that page real quickly, today goes from Psalm 9 through Psalm 23. So it's um, Cathisma 2 and 3 for Sunday morning. And it is Psalms, uh, you know, it'll go Psalm 9 through 23 using the Septuagint numbering of the Psalms.
So in between each one, I, I don't know. I know there's some practice of, um, you know, doing prostrations, although um, I think we don't typically do prostrations on Sunday morning or, you know, at least when we do the services with the risen Christ, we stand. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to do the prostration only during this time period, but um, in between each one, there is kind of a short um, thanksgiving and request for mercy and, and that kind of thing. We cross ourselves, so I will be doing that part at least. Um, okay, so um, I usually skip this very beginning part where it says, For the end, a psalm of David concerning the secrets of the sun. But, um, and then, um, you know, you begin. Glory to the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I will give thanks to thee, O Lord, who my whole heart, I will recount all thy wonderful works. I will be glad and exalt in thee, I will sing to thee thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall be feeble and perish in thy presence. For thou hast maintained my cause and my right, thou satest on, satest on the throne the judgment righteousness. Thou hast rebuked the nations, and the ungodly one has perished. Thou hast blotted out their name forever and ever, forever and ever. The swords of the enemy have failed utterly, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial has been destroyed with a noise, but the Lord endures forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment, and he will judge the world in righteousness. He will judge the nations in uprightness. The Lord also is become a refuge for the poor, a seasonable help in affliction. And let him now know thy name, hope in thee, for thou, O Lord, hast not failed them in thy diligently seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Sion. Declare his dealings among the nations, for he remembered them in making them in acquisition for blood. He has not forgotten the supplication of the poor. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, look upon my affliction, which I suffer of mine enemies, thou that liftest me up from the gates of death. That I said, declare all thy praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will exalt thy nigh salvation. The heathen are caught in the destruction which they planned, in the very snare which they hid is their foot taken. The Lord is known in exec executing judgments. The sinner is taken in the works of his hands. A song of pause. Let sinners be driven away into Hades, even all the nations that forget God. For the poor shall be forgotten forever. The patience of the needy one shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not men prevail. Let the heathen be judged before thee. Appoint, O Lord, a lawyer over them. Let the heathen know that they are men. Through the prayers of the most blessed Theotokos, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why dost thou overlook us in times of need and affliction? While the ungodly one acts proudly, the poor is hardly pursued. The wicked are taken in the crafty counsels which they imagine, because the sinner praises himself for the desires of his heart. The unjust one blesses himself, 
love, the sinner has provoked the Lord. According to thy abundance of his pride, he will not seek him after him. God is not before him, his ways are profane at all times, thy judgments are removed from before him. He will gain the mastery over all his enemies, for he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, continuing without evil from generation to generation, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness and fraud, under his tongue are trouble and pain. He lies in wait with rich men in secret places, in order to slay the innocent his eyes are set against the poor. His lies in wait in secret as a lion in his den, he lies in wait to ravish the poor, the ravish to ravish the poor when he draws him after him. He will bring him down in his snare, he will bow down and fall when he has mastered the poor. For he has said in his heart, God is forgotten, he has turned away his face so as never to look. Arise, O God, let thy hand be lifted up, forget not the poor, wherefore he has the wicked provoke God, for he has said in his heart he will not require it. Thou seest it, for thou dost observe trouble and wrath, to deliver them into thy hands. The poor has been left to thee, thou wast a helper to the orphan. Break thou the arm of the sinner, and the wicked man his sin shall be suffered, and shall not be found. The Lord will shall reign for ever, even ever and ever, ye Gentiles shall perish out of his hand. The Lord has heard the desire of the poor. Thy ear has inclined the preparation of their heart. Be to plead for the orphan and the afflicted, that man may say no more boast upon the earth. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. In the Lord I have put my trust. How will ye say to my soul, flee to the mountains as a sparrow? For behold, the sinners will have bent their bow. They have prepared their arrows for the quiver to shoot pri privily at the upright in heart. For they have pulled down what thou didst frame, but what thou, but what has righteousness done? The Lord is in his holy temple as for the Lord, his throne is in the heavens, his eyes look upon the poor, his eyelids try the sons of men. The Lord tries the righteous and the ungodly, and he that loves unrighteousness hates his own soul. He shall rain upon sinners' snares, fire and brimstone in a stormy blast shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous and loves righteousness, his face beholds the upright brightness through the prayers of all the saints especially Joachim, Anna, Elijah, Catherine and Christina who is the patron saints of this house Lord have mercy upon us and save us for the end Save me, O Lord, for the godly man has failed, for truth is diminished among from among the children of men. Every one has spoken vanity to his neighbor, their lips are deceitful, they have spoken with double heart. Let the Lord destroy, destroy all the deceitful lips, and the tongue that speaks great words, who have said, We will magnify our tongue, our lips are our own, who who is the Lord of us? Because of the misery of the poor and because of the sign of the needy, now I will now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set them in safety. I will speak to them there of openly. The oracles of the Lord are pure oracles, a silver tried in the fire. 
proved in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou, O Lord, shall keep us and shall preserve us from this generation and forever. The ungodly walk around according to the greatness. Thou hast greatly exalted the sons of men. Through the prayers of the Most Blessed Theotokos, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. For the end, how long, O Lord, wilt thou forget me forever? How long wilt thou turn away thy face from me? How long shall I counsel in my soul, having sorrows in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Look on me, hearken to me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest at any time my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. My persecutors will exalt if ever I should be moved. But I have hoped in thy mercy, my heart shall exalt in thy salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has dealt bountifully with me. I will sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High. Through the prayers of the Most Blessed Holy of the Holy Patriarchs, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They have corrupted themselves and become abominable in their devices. There is none that does goodness. There is not even one so much as one. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the sons of men to see if there were any that understood or sought after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become good for nothing. There is none that is good. There is none that does good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and the misery are in their ways. In the way of the peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Will not all the workers of iniquity know, who eat of my people as they would eat bread? They have not called upon the Lord. There were they, they there were they alarmed with fear, where there was no fear, for God is in the righteous generation. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because of the Lord, because the Lord is his hope, who will bring salvation of Israel out of Zion. When the Lord brings back the captivity of his people, let Jacob exult in his real be glad. Through the prayers of all the saints, especially Joachim, Anna, Elijah, Catherine, Cassini, who are the patron saints of this house. Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. O Lord, who shall sojourn in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell in thy holy mountain, he that walks blameless and works righteousness, who speaks truth in his heart, who has not spoken craftily with his tongue, neither has done evil in his neighbor, nor taken up a reproach against them that dwellest near to him. In his sight an evil worker is set at naught, but he honors them that fear the Lord. He swears to his neighbor and disappoints him not. He has not lent us money or usury, and has not received bribes against the innocent. He that does these things shall never be moved. Through the prayers of the most blessed Theotokos, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. 
Keep me, O Lord, for I have hoped in thee. I said to the Lord, Thou art my Lord, for thou hast no need of my goodness. On behalf of the saints that are in his land, he has magnified all the pleasure in them. Their weaknesses have been multiplied. Afterward they hasted. I will by no means assemble their bloody meetings, neither will I make mention of their names with my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and my cup. Thou art he that restores my inheritance to me. The lines have fallen to me in the best places, yea, I have a most excellent heritage. I will bless the Lord who has instructed me my reins to have chastened me even till night. I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Therefore my heart rejoiced and my tongue exulted, moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer than hope. Holy One, to see corruption, thou hast made known to me the ways of my life. Thou wilt fill me with joy with thy countenance and thy right hand. There are delights forever. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. O Lord of my righteousness, attend to my petition, give ear to my prayer, not uttered with deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence, let mine eyes behold righteousness. Thou hast proved mine heart, thou, vis thou hast visited me by night, thou hast tried me as with a fire, then unrighteousness has not been found in me. I am purpose that my mouth shall not speak amiss. As for the works of men, by the works of thy lips I have gone in myself from hard ways. Direct my steps in thy paths, that my steps slip not. I have cried, for thou heardest me, O God. Incline thy ear to me, and hearken to my words. Shew the marvels of thy mercies, thou that savest them that hope in thee. Keep me as an apple of thy eye from those that resist thy right hand. Thou shalt screen me by the covering of thy wings. From the face of the ungodly that have afflicted me, mine eyes have compassed about my soul. They that enclose themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They have now cast me out and compassed me. Round about they have set their eyes so as to bow them down to the ground. They laid wait for me in a lion ready for prey. And like a lion's whelp dwelling in secret places, Arise, O Lord, prevent them and cast them down. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, draw thy sword, be because of the enemies of thy hand, O Lord, destroy them from the earth, scatter them in their life, though their belly has been filled with thy hidden treasures. They that have been satisfied with uncleanness, and have left the remnant of their possessions to their babes, but I shall appear in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when thy glory appears. Through the prayers of all the saints, especially Joachim and Anna, Elijah, Catherine, and Christina, who are the patron saints of this house, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. The word 
words which thou, which he spoke to the Lord, even the words of his song, in the day in which the Lord delivered him out of the hand of all thy, his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul, and he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my firm support, and my refuge, and my deliverer. My God is my helper, I will hope in him, he is my defender, the horn of my salvation and my helper. I will call upon the Lord with praises, I shall be saved from mine enemies. The pains of death compassed me, and the torrents of ungodliness troubled me exceedingly. The pangs of hell came around about me, the snares of death prevented me. And when I was afflicted, I called upon the Lord, and cried to my God. He hath heard my voice out of his holy temple, and my cry shall enter before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and quaked, the foundations and the mountains were disturbed, and were shaken, because God was angry with them. There went up a smoke in his his wrath, and fire burst into a flame at his presence, coals were kindled at it, and he bowed the heaven and came down, and thick darkness was under his feet, and he mounted, he mounted on cherubs and flew, he flew on wings of winds, and he made darkness his secret place, round about him was his tabernacle, even dark water in the clouds of the air, at the brightness before him the the clouds past hell and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered from heaven, and the highest uttered his voice. And he sent forth his weapons and scattered them, and multiplied lightnings and routed them. And the springs of the waters appeared, and the foundations of the world were exposed at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the blasting of the breath of thy wrath, he sent from on high and took me, he drew me to himself out of many waters. He will deliver me from my mighty enemies and from them they hate that hate me, for I, for they are stronger than I. They prevented me in the day of mine affliction, but the Lord was my stay against them, and he brought me out into the wide place. He will deliver me because of his pleasure in me, and the Lord will recompense my accord me according to my righteousness, even according to the purity of my hands, will he recompense me. For I have kept the way of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and his ordinance departed not from me. And I shall be blameless with him, and shall keep myself from mine iniquity. And the Lord shall recompense me according to my righteousness, and according to the purity of my hands before his eyes. With, that, with the holy thou wilt be holy, and with the innocent man thou wilt be innocent. And with the excellent men thou wilt be excellent, and with the perverse thou wilt show thou wilt show for frowardness, for thou wilt save the lowly people, and wilt humble the eyes of the proud. For thou, O Lord, wilt light my lamp, my God, thou wilt lighten in my darkness. For by thee shall I be delivered from a troop, and by my God I will pass over a wall. As for my God, his way is perfect. The oracles of the Lord are tried in the fire. He is a protector of all them that hope in him. For who is God but the Lord? And who is a God except for our God? It is God that girds me with strength, and he has made my way blameless. Who strengthens my feet as heart 
as heart's feet and sets me upon high places. He instructs my hands for war, and thou hast made my arms as a brazen bow, and thou hast made me secure in my salvation, and thy right hand has helped me, and thy correction has upheld me to the end. Thy, yea, thy correction itself will instruct me. Thou hast made room for my goings under me, and by footsteps did not fall. I will pursue mine enemies and overtake them, and I will not turn back until they are consumed. I will dash them to pieces, and they shall not be able to stand. They shall fall under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength from for war. Thou hast beaten down under me all those up all those that rose up against me. And thou hast made mine enemies turn their backs before me, and thou hast destroyed them that hated me. They cried, but there was no deliverer even to the Lord, but he hearkened not to them. I will grind them as mud of the streets, and I will beat them small as dust before the wind. Deliver me from the great sayings of the people thou shall make me head of the Gentiles, a people who I knew not served me. At the hearing of the year they obeyed me, the strange children lied to me. The strange children waxed old and fell away from their past through lameness. The Lord lives, and blessing be to my God. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenges me and has subdued the nations under me. My deliverer from angry enemies, thou shalt set me on high above them that rise up against me. Thou shalt deliver me from the unrighteous man. Therefore will I confess thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and sing to thy name. God magnifies deliverances of his king, and deals merciful with David his anointed, and his seed forever. Through the prayers of the most blessed Theotokos, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the work of His hands. Day to day utter speech, and night to night proclaims knowledge. There are no speeches or words in which their voices are not heard. Their voice is gone out into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In the sun he has set his tabernacle, and he comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber. He will exalt as a giant to run his course. His going forth is from the extremity of heaven, and his circuit to the other end of heaven. And no one shall be hidden from his heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting souls. The testimony of the Lord is faithful, instructing babes. The ordinances of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is bright, enlightening the eyes. The fear The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever and ever. The judgments of the Lord are true and justified altogether. To be desired more than gold and much precious stone, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. For thy servant keeps to them, in the keeping of them there is great reward. Who will understand his transgressions? Purge thou me from my secret sins, and spare thy servant the attack of strangers. If they do not gain the dominion over me, then shall I be blameless, and I will be clear from great sin. So shall the sayings of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing continually before thee, O Lord, my helper and my redeemer. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us.
The Lord hear me in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and aid thee out of Zion. Remember all thy sacrifice and enrich thy whole burnt offering. Grant thee according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy desire. We will exalt in thy salvation, and in the name of our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now I know that the Lord has saved his Christ. He shall hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is mighty. Some glory in chariots, and some in horses, but we will glory in the name of the Lord our God. They are overthrown and fallen, but we are risen and have been have been set upright. O Lord, save the King, and hear us in whatever day we call upon Thee. (sighs) Through the prayers of all the saints, especially Joachim, Anna, Elijah, Catherine, and Cassina, who are the patron saints of this household, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. O Lord, the King shall rejoice in thy strength, and in thy salvation he will greatly exalt. Thou hast granted him the desire of his soul, and hast not withheld from him the request of his lips. For thou hast prevented him with blessings of goodness. Thou hast set him upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Thou wilt crown him with glory and majesty. For thou wilt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou wilt gladden him with joy with thy countenance. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the mercy of the highest he shall not be moved. Let thy hand be found in all thy enemies. Let the right hand find that hate thee. Find all that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven at the time of thy presence. The Lord troubled them with, troubled him in his anger, and fire shall devour them. Thou shalt destroy their fruit from the earth and their seed from among the sons of men. For they intended evils against thee. They imagined a device which they shall by no means be able to perform. For thou shalt make them turn the back in the latter end. Thou wilt prepare their face. Be thou exalted, O Lord. In thy strength we will sing and praise thy thy mighty acts. Through the prayers of the most blessed Theotokos, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. For thee in concerning the morning aid, a psalm of David, O God, my God, attend to me. Why hast thou forsaken me? The account of my transgressions is far from my salvation. O my God, I will cry to thee by day, but thou wilt not hear, and by night it shall not be accounted for folly to me. But thou the prey of Israel dwellest in a sanctuary. Our fathers hoped in thee, they hoped, and thou didst deliver them. They cried to thee, and were saved. They hoped in thee, and were not ashamed. But I am a worm, and not a man, a reproach of men, and scorn of the people. All that saw me mocked me. They spoke with their lips, they shook with their 
dead, saying, He hoped in the Lord, let him deliver him, let him save him, because he takes pleasure in him. For thou art he that drew me out of the womb, my hope from my mother's breasts. I was cast on thee from the tomb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Stand not aloof from me, for affliction is near. For there is no helper. My bullocks have compassed me. Fat bulls have beset me round. They have opened their mouth against me. As a ravening and roaring lion, I am poured out like water, and all my bones are loose, and my heart in the midst of my belly has become melting wax. My strength is dried up like a pot pot shared, and my tongue is glued to my throat, and thou hast brought me down to the dust of the of death. For many dogs have compassed me, and the assembly of the wicked doers has beset me round. They pierced my hands and my feet, they counted all my bones, and they observed and looked upon me. They parted my garments among themselves, and cast lot upon my raiment. But thou, O Lord, remove not my help afar off. Be ready for mine aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my only begotten one from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, and regard my lowliness from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name to my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise to thee. Yea, that fear the Lord. Praise him, all ye seed of Jacob. Glorify him, let all the seed of Israel fear him. For he has not despised nor been angry at the supplication of the poor, nor turned his face away from me. But when I cried to him, he heard me. My praise is in thee. In the great congregation I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The Lord shall eat and be satisfied, and thy shall pray and they shall praise the Lord that seek him. Their heart shall live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nation shall worship before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor of the nations. All the fat ones of the earth have eaten and worshipped. All that go down to the earth shall fall down before him. My soul also lives to him, and my seed shall serve him. The generation that is coming shall be reported to the Lord, and they shall report his righteousness to the people that shall be born, whom the Lord has made. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, have mercy upon us and save us, O Lord. The Lord tends me as a shepherd, and I shall not want nothing. In a place of green grass there he has made me dwell. He has nourished me by the water of rest. He he has restored my soul. He has guided me into the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, even if I should walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will not be afraid of evils. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they, these have comforted me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of them that afflict me. Thou hast thoroughly anointed my head with oil, and thy cup cheers me like the best wine. Thy mercy also shall follow me all the days of my life, and my dwelling shall be in the house of the Lord for a very long time.
through the prayers of all the saints, especially Joachim and Anna, Elijah, Catherine, and Cassini, who are the patron saints of this house, Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all that dwell in it. He has founded upon the seas and prepared it upon the rivers. Who shall go up to the mountain of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He that is innocent in his hands and pure in his heart, who has not lifted up his soul to vanity, nor sworn deceitfully to his neighbor, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and mercy from God his Savior. This generation of them that seek him, that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your gates, ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, to the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle, lift up your gates, ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. The King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts? He is King of glory. Lord, have mercy upon us and save us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, the sinner. <laughs> 